Hello everyone. So today we are going to see the number of zeros or trailing zeros of 123 factorial. So कोई भी number का factorial के end में कितना zeros है, that is number of zeros at the end of this factorial we will find out. Okay. And what is 123 factorial? 123 factorial is nothing but 123 into 122 into 121 and so on up to one. Okay. To find the trailing zeros, okay, at the end of this factorial is very easy, okay. How can we calculate? We know a number because if 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 it is ending with zeros, then it must be divisible by ten, okay. Number divisible by ten means it will have two factors, two into five. So we have to find the maximum number of two and maximum number of five. Dividing this factorial, okay. So first of all, what we'll find out? We'll find out the pair of two and five in this factorial. Then it will be very much easy to say how many number of zeros are there in this at the end of this factorial. So what we'll do? First of all, we'll take. So uh, we will divide this by high, higher powers of two and five. We will take first one twenty three divided by five, okay. How much it will come? One to three divided by five will be twenty four point six. Okay, then we'll take one twenty three divided by five square higher power powers of five. Okay, it will come nearly four point nine two. Similarly, we will find one twenty three divided by five cube. This is one twenty five, one twenty three divided by one twenty five. Obviously, it will be less than one. It will be nearly zero point nine eight. Okay, and we'll stop when this number will be less than one. So we'll stop here, and then what we will do after stopping, we'll take only this integral part, not the decimal part. Only this before decimal point, we will take this number. Okay, and this is less than one. We will stop here. We'll not take this one. We will take until until this is less than one. Okay, so we will take this one. So number of five will be number of fives in this will be twenty four plus four will be equals to twenty eight. Now, now we have to find similarly for two, and then we can take how many pairs of two into five we can make, and that will be number of ten. Or num that will be number of zeros at the end of one twenty three factorial. Okay. So now similarly we'll do for two. So first of all, what we'll take one twenty three divided by two, which will get sixty two point. Or directly we can write sixty one point five. Okay. One twenty three divided by two square will be thirty point seven five. Similarly, one twenty three divided by two. Cube means one twenty three divided by eight will be nearly fifteen point three seven. But we are more interested before the decimal point, so we will take this this sixty one thirty fifteen, and then we'll add one until the point we are getting less than one. One twenty three divided by two to four means one twenty three divided by sixteen will be nearly seven point six eight. Okay, then one twenty three divided by Two to the power five. That means thirty-two will be nearly three point eight four. Then one twenty-three divided by two to the power six will be equals to one point nine two nearly. Then one twenty three divided by two to the power seven will be nearly equals to zero point nine six, and this is less than one. So we we'll, yeah, we will not take this. We'll take this one, okay. And from previous one, what will we will get? We will get sixty one plus thirty plus fifteen plus seven plus three plus one. Which will be 
nil equals to 117. This is the maximum number of 2 in 123 factorial. But we have maximum number 5 in 123 factorial is equals to 28. Okay. So for making pairs, number of 5 and number of 2 must be taken in same quantity. So it is 28. So number of pairs of 2 and 5 is So finally, pairs of 2 and 5, that is tens, is equals to 28. That means number of zeros at the end of 23 factorial is 28. And if you'll find 123, and 123 factorial is nothing but 1, 2, 1, 4, 6, 3, and it is nearly about ending with 28 zeros. So hence proved. Similar problems can be done with other numbers also, other factorial also. So subscribe for more such content. Thank you.